guys, today I'm gonna show you how to practice inside fighting on the heavy bag. I know a lot of fighters, a lot of people go to the gym and they hit the heavy bag from far and everyone knows how to throw punches at range, but not everybody knows how to practice inside fighting and as far as how these shots need to be delivered on the inside. All right guys, for practicing inside fighting, something you need to keep in mind is that as we're on the heavy bag, you never wanna be straight on the heavy bag. You either wanna be on the, the right side of the heavy bag or you wanna be on the left side of the heavy bag. And this being, you don't wanna be in front of your opponent receiving uppercuts or straight shots and just standing on the line of fire to throw your inside punches. And I think this is where a lot of people get confused. For those that don't know, my name is Andy Benses. I'm a professional boxer with 29 professional fights. So I'm gonna break down the way I like to work on the inside and the way I like to get around my opponent and maneuver. Even though it's a heavy bag, I wanna treat him as an opponent. So I never wanna stand there too long. So something I like doing is obviously throwing body shots, but maneuvering myself to the other side to look at another body shot, rolling. Um, you gotta remember, something's always coming back at you, so you always gotta envision a shot coming back at you. Even though the heavy bag's not thrown at me, you wanna always practice your offense knowing that you need some defense. Something that's very key here is getting from this side. A lot of people like to stay crouched here, but knowing that you can get on this side and work the body from the opposite side. So here's how it's gonna look. So you can be here. And this is inside fighting, strictly short shots. Think of them real snappy. You can get low and think of them snappy. So just remember, something I like to do is always switch sides on the bag. But if you did want to move right or left, you need to remember, when you hit the right, the right side, you can pretty much break off right. And if you hit the left side, you can pretty much step off and turn. I know a lot of people, a lot of fighters also like using a resistance band to practice this drill. But what the resistance band does is it forces you not to back up. You're kind of forced to stay inside and work your shots, but the band is having you being enclosed. So this is also something you guys could do. For those that don't know, it's not a bad idea. It kind of forces you to fight inside and work your punches on the inside. So here's how I like to work strictly the inside. You can also throw uppercuts on the inside. Obviously this is not an uppercut bag, but we will imagine that we throw an uppercut. working the bag, switching stands, I'm even rolling when I get the chance, firing off to step off. Many different ways to practice inside fighting, but this is one way I like to practice. Short, nice, compact punches, getting off my head, rolling under a shot, stepping off, overhead, under. Just different ways to throw my shots and move around the bag. 